So I don't actually really know what's going to happen here uh, in terms of this grilling competition. Seems like Terry did a really nice job of preparing for this and listening to the challenge. And Tom, on the other hand, um, I guess is going to play it all a minute. I think it's good that you had a head start because uh, grilling isn't natural for you and you need to think about it. So I've been, my weekend was spent grilling for 5,000 people in California at the Sunset Magazine event. You, you're all prepared. I need to think of a few things. I'm well, not all prepared. I still need to cook. I mean, uh, the grilling competition is based on the end product that's been grilled and barbecued. And well, we're going to go. Yeah, I understand. Oh. We're going to grill the. Uh, I'm going to grill some chicken. Uh -huh. I think somebody got me some chicken thighs. Yeah. And I'm just going to do it really simple and make kind of a little marinade for it real quick. What kind of marinade you make? I'm telling you. <laughs> you go. You go <laughs> So now Terry's outside, I have to think about what I'm going to do since I've been out of the town, out of the country, out of everywhere. And uh, he's been standing here preparing for two weeks for this grilling contest. Uh, so I'm going to think of something quick and use my two Asian dudes in a white dude's body mentality. My leg of lamb, I bombed it out, butterflied it, and I put my rub, my special rub. When I do my cooking, I always think about it. I put it together, I slice it, and then I go to the barbecue. Normally I have a beer in my hand, which is coming soon, I hope. Weeks. And the oranges. only thing I could find in the fridge fresh was oranges. So I'm going to make a little orange peel chicken. Fish sauce, caramelized sugar, orange peel, a little rice vinegar. I'm going to add a little rooster sauce or chili paste to it because I want a little spicy. Half the marinade for uh, the chicken and then I'm going to save the other half as a little drizzle. So we don't want to have the raw chicken in the in the marinade. It has to be cooked. We take the bone out of the chicken so that we don't spend all day cooking the chicken. I like to take the skin, marinate it also, but grill it separately and make kind of uh, little skin cracklings. To it. So I'm just putting a little bit of a few slivers of garlic into the lamb because I like I like the flavor of um, lamb of uh, garlic being into the lamb. So I'm just putting little slivers of garlic in there. If they're gonna grill and melt. All right, Tom, I don't know where he is. I'm ready for grilling, let's do it. Didn't have a three-day head start, but um, mine's gonna be faster and more delicious. It's nice to have a well-equipped kitchen. That's why we're doing this in my house and not Terry's house. This will soak up that oil and it'll also cool off quicker. touch of mint from the garden. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous. What if I like Terry's food better? How am I gonna vote against my husband? What's gonna happen? I don't know, I'm kinda worried. This is my little trick, Terry. I don't know if you've ever done this or not. No, I have not. This is my little trick for, you know how sometimes the skin gets stuck on the grill? Yeah, 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 yeah. It falls yeah. off your chicken or whatever. Oh yes, I've seen So that. now I just cook it separately, Uh huh. and it shrivels up and you end up kind of garnishing your chicken with it. But that sounds kind of weird. It stays really nice and crisp? Well, it, no, it's going to be grilled and it's going to be chewy, but but it, you end up getting a nice chunk of skin. Right, as opposed to no sort of sticking <laughs> to the grill and falling through or right, something of right. that sort. Most people call that burn, but that's... I'm really not most it. people. The you know. key to good grilling is use your dampers to adjust your heat level up and down and the other thing that even if, if you don't have a grill like mine that actually has a thermometer on it. You should have one. Then just take your drill bit, drill a hole through the top and drop a thermometer in there because it's kind of hard to know what's going on in there if you don't know the temperature of your fire, how long it's going to cook. Well, I'm the producer of the show, so neither of them can really do anything right. So I'm just going to go with whoever will pay me more. Only five minutes away. What about that half hour resting time that you That's need? what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it rest after that. He was trying to catch me on the resting because we always talk about how you have to rest the meat. You know, a piece of meat like this, even though it's not that thick, needs at least 25 minutes resting. Okay, make it 30. Always shortcut Mr. Douglas. I want to go fast, fast, fast. Good food takes time. All right, the lamb is coming out. We're going to let it rest. Beautiful. Look at that gorgeous piece of lamb. All right. So we have an orange peel chicken, chicken thighs, uh, marinated as you saw with fresh orange peel, uh, caramelized sugar, fish sauce, 
And then on top, I did an Indonesian mint and orange sambal with uh, toasted cashews, spicy garlic, and some of the residual. Uh, this is for you, Mr. Cameraman, because you're, so, you're doing such a nice job today, and you're making me look skinny and beautiful. Um, the other the finishing touch here is that I took the skins off separately and crispened them up. So I grilled some eggplant, asparagus, and zucchini, obviously, and I made a little fennel salad with um, toasted almond, shallots, garlic, the rice vinegar dressing, kind of like mustard, rice vinegar, olive oil. Mademoiselle, <laughs> bon appétit. Oh, so good. This I want this corn. Oh, take it off the edge here. Skin crackling. The skin yeah. crackling. Mm. All right, right. lamb. Lamb. Uh, I have to say, oh, this is a nice more. presentation. I love the chicken skin, crispy chicken skin. Um, I'm going with that my vote has to go to Thierry. I'm going with the Frenchman. So my vote's going with Tom. Woo! Cheers. Yay. Nice job all around, yeah. gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. When you're grilling, you use one hand, the other one is for drinking. That's right.